Renault Nissan has been a real pioneer in the development of electric vehicles. So, what point in the curve are we at in the adoption of the electric car? I think we are uh, really at a, a tipping point in terms of uh, electric car adoption. Previously, the number of EVs that were uh, sold in the world was extremely, extremely limited. Now we are moving to a higher volume. Huh? Uh, for example, Nissan sold in total uh, 25,000 uh, Nissan Leaf. Uh, we have launched from Renault's side uh, the first vehicles three months ago. We have already taken 5,000 orders. So we are now heading for big volumes. It's really changing. As you touched on, your group has produced the most popular zero emission car so far, the Leaf. Why do you think that particular model has been a winner? I think uh, it makes big, big difference compared to all what we have seen before. Reasonably cheap car, range that uh, enables to use the car uh, on a daily basis for a uh, daily uh, trip, very convenient, and obviously uh, zero emission. That changes a lot compared to uh, what we saw before. So that makes EV now popular, whereas before that was very much niche market. And now another big addition to the range in the shape of the Renault Zoe. Why do you think this kind of class of car might catch on with the customer, not so much the fleet customer, but the private buyer? Yeah, that's going to be a winner. Uh, that's typically a city car, four meter uh, long. So you are really looking at, uh, you know, every family that has a second car in the household, they can replace it by this type of car. Extremely convenient to, uh, you know, commute, do uh, daily trips. And as it's released a year after the first models, that will be more advanced technically, better range, uh, lower price. So there will be a lot of progress on this car. Is there a particular segment of the market where you expect electric vehicles to really make an impact in the next few years? Yes, I think the EVs will very much spread in a few typical segments like uh, um, Second car, that, that's typical usage for an EV. I mean, with a car that can make 100 miles, that's very good. Also, uh, let's not forget the, uh, the vans, especially the minivan segment where, uh, you know, you need uh, urban delivery. Sometimes you get restrictions in some cities, like you cannot go into uh, city centers and so on. With an electric car, you can. And that will be probably one of the, the most promising segments we'll have in the future. Of course, the technology and the curb appeal are improving all the time, but what's your approach to overcoming our love affair with the internal combustion engine, persuading petrol head consumers to go electric? Well, I'm not really sure that we had love affair with, uh, uh, you know, petrol cars. I mean, if it's the only thing that you know, of course, uh, you, you have to be in love. But at the end, uh, as soon as you try an EV, you fall in love with it. I mean, that, that's, that's very much, I mean, the, the feeling to uh, drive in silence, to uh, very good acceleration, uh, the feeling that, uh, yeah, it's good for the planet as well, uh, very convenient on a daily basis. Uh, so I think it's very much a question of, uh, okay, let's try an EV and you will, you will soon forget your uh, previous lover. Looking ahead, one forecast from the International Energy Agency sees as many as 2.5 million electric vehicles on the world's roads as soon as 2020. What has to happen to make that forecast a reality? Well, actually, we, we think there could be uh, more uh, electric cars uh, than 2.5 million in 2020. There are a few conditions. Huh? The first one is uh, for the first years, we need that uh, governments help the development of EVs. It's, uh, you know, more expensive at the beginning. So there is need for uh, some support. We need also the infrastructure to, uh, to spread. And we need also to ensure that there is uh, consistent progress on the technology. You know, with all that in mind, definitely, definitely, you know, petrol price will increase and EVs will spread. So there are a few conditions, but we are extremely, extremely confident that now it will happen. Jerry Koskas, thank you very much. Thank you.